Imagine the things you worked so hard for turn to ash in just a few minutes. Families in Malden experienced a tragic fire eight months ago. They're still trying to rebuild, but there are some things they will never get back. And, and it's things like that that you don't think of as being important and a vital thing to grab. Rachel Blakely wished she grabbed those small mementos or anything at all. Instead, she walked away from her Malden home with nothing but her family and dogs. Wildfires can come anytime, even if you think it won't happen to you. People living in Malden and Pine City learned the tragic way, now hoping others will learn from them. Helping you prepare for fire season, Eleni Dow shares their stories and the message they have for you. 15 minutes, that's how much time some Malden families had to grab all their belongings that day of the fire. Some people grabbed their things, and people like Rachel Blakely, she ended up not grabbing anything, and she lost everything in her home. You'd walk in over there, and then the kitchen and the master bedroom. Building a life, a home, for decades, just for it all to get swept away in a fire in just a few minutes. I had nothing. Nope. Eight months ago, Rachel Blakely's son told her to grab the things she couldn't live without when a fire made its way to Malden. And I'm like, well, that's you and the kids, so we're good. Only I didn't grab anything, and that's, that's at the time, you think that's all that matters, and it, it is all that matters, but then you don't have anything. No clothes, no important papers, not even the little picture she loves of her kids. All rubble and ash. You don't think of it as something that you have to have, but it's something that's irreplaceable and you're sad later that they're gone. What would she have done differently now looking back? The little things collected over the years of building a life in Malden. Those were the things Rachel wished she grabbed. Because the the memories they bring back are the importance, and that's, that's the hard stuff. Those little pictures and those little heirlooms that you can't replace are the ones that really need to be on your list of things that you need to grab, the ones that are going to make you cry. Rachel ended up staying in a hotel for two months after the fire, now staying in her RV until she gets her life rebuilt, but no exact date or timeline yet on when that will happen. Do you wish you were more prepared? Yes, I do. But you'd be prepared next time. While she walked away with nothing, just a block down, it took Heather Van Dyke 15 minutes to grab whatever she could. But she still had to leave too much behind. Had to leave, you know, everything you've worked for at home. She packed the important papers, ID, medicine, and some clothes. The things you should grab or have in a go bag. But with what little she had left, the things she absolutely needed, it still burned a hole in her heart. It is probably the worst thing I can imagine other than a death of, of a family member going through. The town is on the mend. Slowly but surely, families like Heather's and Rachel's are rebuilding the lives they once had, now hoping others will be prepared during an emergency that came all too quickly. We're rebuilding and we're going to make it through. In Malden, Eleni Dow, 4 News Now.